gonna keep it low now If you wanna go, let's go Let's wrap it up and hit the road Cause We just got home from the meat in that Jill told you about, and there was some leftovers that um, we're gonna we brought home for the chickens. So <laughs> they're gonna love this little salad and hot dog buns. We'll see how much they like this. Well, the smart one stayed. They like their feed. Jill just kind of stirred up the feed so they could get more. And they all came running over to that instead. Well, this gal over here really likes the hot dog bun instead. That's hey hey. <laughs> well, they're eating good tonight. I thought I'd go check on the beehive real quick. Um, they look like they're mostly inside for the night. I don't see any of them. And they do that, they go inside when it gets cold. Let's see if we can hear them. You can hear a little bit of a buzz going on, but not much. Lincoln didn't want to see the bees very close, but now that I just told him there's none out there, he's willing to go walk over and check them out. Okay, Jill's gonna put a pollen patty in there and uh, to feed them, but she's doing it without the suit on and without gloves on, which I think is so brave. But she did it. Can you put it on the this side on the other? Yep. Gotcha, huh? Yeah, the stinger's still in there. I need it out. They're still on you. They're on you. They're on you. Maybe we should do the bee suit. <laughs> Why, how do these people do it without getting stung? Huh? It is early on a Wednesday morning and we are off to another exciting activity and today it is this young man's day. He is participating in his first mock trial. This is part of the Classical Conversations homeschool program that we do. In Challenge B, at their end of year project, they do a mock trial. And so Lincoln has watched many, many times his sister doing mock trial, and now it is his turn today. Well, I'm going to be doing a mock trial. My I'm going to be delivering part of the opening statement as well as conducting the cross-examination of one of the witnesses. And what side are you playing, defense or prosecution? I am playing defense. Awesome. So that is where we will all be as a family together watching this guy um, just blow us away with all the preparation that he's done and we're really excited that they get to do this. So hopefully it's a good day and we'll see how your entire team goes. There's Lincoln ready to go and friends and fellow attorneys. You ready for this? Yes. All right. Okay. We have finished our mock trial day and I have to say it was absolutely amazing. Lincoln did awesome. This was his first time ever speaking in public and I am so proud of him. He did part of the opening statement for defense and he absolutely just knocked it out of the park. And then the entire team for my class did so, so, so good. I'm proud of all the students in the Challenge B class at Castle Rock East. And they ended up winning both rounds, so they were the overall winners of the entire mock trial. And I am just so excited for what the kids have accomplished this year. And I've got, a, well, I've got three in the back, but Kenya, of course, did her mock trial last year, but 
we're gonna hear from two of the team members to see just how their day was. How you feel, man? I feel great. I feel relieved of stress. <laughs> <laughs> so what was going through your head when you started giving your, your opening statement? I pray I don't forget anything. <laughs> and you didn't. You did so good. You got through it. What about for your cross-examination? I think my, pro my cross-examination went pretty well. Um, I believe I handled the witness pretty well, but I for sure was not the best best attorney there. <laughs> but your skills are getting there, right? right? All right, we have another Challenge B student. Tell us who you are. I'm Lexi. And they very, very, very good friend of the family. It's like, we, we adopt her. She's, yeah. she's an adopted David. Yay! <laughs> um, Lexi was our prosecuting attorney. Lincoln was a defense attorney. Kenya was a spectator this time. No, but it she was, was hard. The lead <laughs> prosecution. So yes, Lexi was our lead prosecuting attorney. I think it went pretty well. Judge said I had what was it? The, the best cross examination he had seen. That. So that was really good. And was um, yeah, Lexi, tell us one more thing that happened with when you guys were playing prosecution that is very rare. We won. You won the verdict. You won the verdict. Like I said, all in all, I'm so proud of Lincoln and Lexi. Kenya, you were such a good supportive sister today. How did it feel to be on the other side rather than being the one in the trial? I wanted to object a lot. Um, and when he said opening statement, I almost just subconsciously, subconsciously stood up and started saying, ruinous condition wrong conclusion. <laughs> so we are headed over to a pizza party celebration with Lincoln's team just to kind of close out the year. The mock trial was the end of their Challenge B year and they are now officially, officially, are you ready for this? Uh -oh. High schoolers. Oh. Yes. Welcome to the wow. club kids. <laughs> we now officially have two high schoolers, ladies and gentlemen. We do not have any middle schoolers anymore. And so we are now starting to come to the end of our journey and we're now in the high school years. I was really proud of all the kids that competed because it was amazing to see how well they did in the progression from last year. I mean, last year when we were all brand new to Mock Child, you know, we didn't know anything, not even how to admit evidence. And the kids all from both teams did that almost flawlessly. It was really impressive. So um, it was great to hear Judge too because he, he literally said that these two teams were probably the best teams that he's ever seen um, compete in um, CC Mock Trial. And he has seen, he's been doing this for eight years. So really cool to see such great performances from these kids. And really proud of our kids because they did such a great job and they worked their tails off to get here. So um, it's it's always fun when all the work pays off, right? And uh, and that's what it did. So nice job to everybody. And you did great too, coaching them. Oh, thanks. Time to check on the bees. We've got a, a lot of bees on the outside of the hives. So yeah. she's going to go check it out and see what's going on. All suited up, smoked ready. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to stand back like I did last time. Um, yeah, so it's been over a week now, and I need to check to see if those other five frames that were already in our hive, if they filled those up. If they have, we're going to have to add another box on top. And I'm also just going to check the um, nectar that we've been feeding them and the pollen. Hopefully this goes well. This tree here that we have out in the back is full of our bees right now. We think there are bees. And so all of our trees that have flowers on them are getting uh, covered in bees. Finish your job and you're covered in bees. I am? No, you're not. Okay. How no was it? Stings. <laughs> That's good. It was good. Um, they're definitely filling up those frames, but I didn't want to disrupt them too much. But did they do build anything on the outer frame yet? Um, a little bit, yeah. But I 
switch the opening so it's bigger now and we're gonna go make some more nectar for them because they've completely clear cleared that out and then I also added pollen so we're gonna go over here to the hive Luke um, I don't blame him doesn't want to come over because he doesn't have a bee suit but I want to take you guys over here so you can see our bees so that is their entrance and I can try and open this up I don't want to bug them too much but this is the top part of the hive and it's just the lid so that comes off and there's some on the top this is the feeding box and these wood planks actually float when it's full so it's completely empty so I need to add more nectar to it and then this is the main top cover that I'm gonna smoke them just a little bit and if we pull this off this is the actual inside of the hive and these middle frames you'll see that they're the darker wood the brown those are the ones that we added now over here this is the pollen patties that I've been adding so they've been feeding on those but if you see the black frames which are right here these are the outer frames that we're waiting for them to fill up before we add another box but they all seem to be doing good um, I don't want to disrupt them too much but they are doing really good but what you see in the top left hand corner of your screen and the bottom right hand and kind of in the middle are the pollen patties and that is to feed them along with the nectar that we're gonna put in so there they are we're gonna let them go back to doing what they do Okay, so make some more nectar.